What's up, it's your boy Q Connect, um, and I just wanted to make a quick video um, about what it's like being a work from home dad. Um, and the reason why I wanted to make this video is simply because um, I see a lot of videos about uh, stay at home mothers or even um, single mothers, and and you never hear any, you never, they never shed any light on like what it's like to be a single father or a work from home father. I'm not a single father; I am married. Um, and also, I just want to give my kudos to all the women out there that's doing it by themselves because I know it can be challenging. Excuse me, and I can only imagine what it's like not having help. So kudos to you guys. Um, again, I'm just making this video to bring light to all the fathers out there who are single, also who aren't single. They just work from home and take care of their children, you know, the child or children, you know, all day because it's, it's challenging. So to get right into it again, I am married. I do have a wife, um, um, but my wife does leave and go to work. And I'm here with my daughter, which is now one years old all day and also have a job where I have to work. Um, so just wanted to go into that. So just to, to start it off, uh, while my daughter is still asleep right now, is typically, so before my daughter was one, she was, well, I would say between six months into 11 months, she wouldn't sleep through the night at all. Um, and that was that was challenging. So like, typically the way our nights go, we try to put her down between, I think when she was younger, it was like six. Now we put her down seven or eight. But when she was younger, we'll put her down and she would wake up in the middle of the night. Now me, I would stay in the bed, my wife would get up and go tend to our daughter while I stayed in bed. And then typically in the morning when my daughter woke up around that time, it was like six to seven a.m. I would get out the bed, take our daughter downstairs, let my wife sleep in because again, she still had to go to work. Come downstairs, take the dog out, um, cook us breakfast, cook her breakfast, sometimes cook my wife breakfast. And then, you know, let my daughter play in a little playpen. At this time she was crawling, she wasn't walking. And she would stay over there and do what she needed to do until, you know, it was time for her to take her nap. And again, she used to take three naps. Now she's down to one nap. So that's typically how I go. And then my wife will come downstairs, drink her coffee and go straight to work. Now, since my daughter is sleeping through the night, my wife no longer has to get up in the middle of the night. Um, and uh, so we all, she, so now we, we put our daughter around, down around like seven or eight p.m. And then our daughter would sleep through the night and she'll wake up around between seven and eight a.m., right? Which is around the same time we all wake up. So this is literally how our morning goes now because I wanna speak about the present. Um, so we wake up in the morning. Um, my daughter is, uh, I usually wake up before my wife and my daughter. So I get up, come downstairs, take the dog out, make breakfast for my wife or well, my daughter and sometimes for my wife, fix my wife lunch, and then I will start working. Now before, I couldn't get no work done when my daughter was younger simply because um, I know I used to put her in there and, and do what I had to do, but like that would only last. The time that I used to get my work done is when my daughter took her three naps. Now she's down on one nap and it's challenging. So one thing I do applaud my wife for and I really appreciate her is, is in the morning time when I come down here and I get, I can get at least two hours in before my daughter wakes up when i wake up she'll wake up before my so I, until i have to like do my part and tend to my daughter so i will come downstairs make breakfast skip all that and then i'll start working i'm already working my wife will come down with my daughter she'll put my daughter in her chair my daughter will start eating her food and my wife will just chill now she would chill here drink her coffee and you know wait it out for a minute um and then my wife will go to work no later than like 9 9 30 and by that time i already got a lot of work done uh, and then I can kind of focus on my, not kind of focus, focus on my daughter. So now that my daughter is walking, we used to have her in her playpen, right? And her being in playpen, it was fine. Um, she was just standing or whatever. She'll stand up and drop her toys out um, and she'll be fine. But now that she's walking, we had to throw the playpen out, not throw it out, but put it up. And now we have like this, I'm gonna see if I can get a video. It's this big gate around our, uh, our living room. Living room was pretty big. This is actually the office and the living room is right here. Um, and my daughter hates it. She hates it. So she'll literally, I'm over here on meetings and stuff. Um, and my daughter will be like, ah, throwing stuff over the thing. And it got to the point where I had to just let her out. And like, I typically holding her or she just walking around the house and I'm like this. Um, and, and it's challenging simply because, so my job is really demanding. Um, I don't have to take calls or anything like that, but I do have, I'm, I'm, I take a lot of meetings and have to pull a lot of data and do stuff like that. And it's times where my daughter is sitting in the meeting with me. Thank God not all my meetings require a camera, but it's sometimes it does and I have to talk. And, and what's challenging about it is, is now that my daughter is this age and I'm trying to focus on work, she'll cry, she will yell, she will scream. And I'm saying like, uh, you know, it, it, it can get, it can get really, really challenging. 
And then now that she's not taking three naps, she's only taking one, typically her naps around between 10, 30 and 11, 30, that's when she's like getting sleepy. And it seemed like I always have meetings around that time. So I'm trying to juggle, trying to, you know, you know, if anybody know when a kid is, is sleepy, they're, they're, they get real fussy. So she's super fussy. Um, then finally I can put her down and I'm able to get a little bit more work done. But then again, she wakes up, gotta give her lunch. Um, by this time I'm like mentally drained cause I'm just trying to push all my work out and do everything. Um, and again, I'm tending to my daughter. So it's challenging now simply because she's older and she requires a lot of um, attention. And, you know, again, I look at it as being like a, a, a second job to my, my normal job, simply because, you know, like I said, I'm over here trying to work and at the same time, I'm trying to entertain my daughter. Um, the TV only works so much. Um, you know, we got toys everywhere. It seems like my daughter doesn't like her toys. She'll come over here and it's why my desk looking mess, like come grab stuff and do all this stuff. Um, and overall, it's just, it's, it, it can get mentally draining, which, um, thank God for having a wife because when my wife come home, she grabs her and I'm able to go to the gym or able to do whatever I need to do. Or even sometimes my wife will go to the gym after work. Um, again, I appreciate my wife because she does help. Um, it, it's just, again, being a work from home dad has its perks because we don't get to, we don't have to pay for a daycare right now. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm literally like splitting my brain in half where I'm like focus on her, focus on work. And um, I thank God for my job for being, um, having sympathy or not sympathy, but you know, they know in my situation and, and you know, I'm still getting my work done and doing everything I need. Um, but yeah, man, it is challenging. Um, so my camera had died for a second, but I'm back. But uh, it so being a stay home dog, dad again, it's, it's, it's amazing. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't know if I said this before, but I love, um, watching my daughter grow up, um, I love that she learns a lot of stuff. My, my wife actually teaches a lot of stuff and she's she's learning how to use sign language and, and you know, just express herself through um, sign language, crying and all that. Um, but overall, I work from home dad, it, it's fun. And, and again, it, it can be really challenging. What I wanna say to all the work from home dads is um, don't take anything personal when you're dealing with, you know, a child. And then um, also try to find some time for yourself. Um, being with a a wife that I have who's very understanding and listens and, and understand that I get overstimulated too. Um, it, it just makes things a lot easier. Um, I will say I have grown and matured a lot and grown a lot of patience simply because it, you have to have patience dealing with a child and working from home with a child. Um, and I love my daughter. She's amazing. I love my wife. I love my life. Um, eventually we do want to have another child, but right now I'm all like, let's just wait because <laughs> it's real tough. But, um, but yeah, man, hopefully this video was quick. Um, I know I got a rambling. I don't even know if I stuck to the topic, but I guess we'll see. But I, I just wanted to get this out and, um, applaud all my single mother, applaud all my work from home mothers, stay at home mothers, work from home dads and stay at home dad. Um, you got this stick in there. Um, and it's from all the advice that I got from people who have children that are older, they say it gets easy. I don't see it getting easy, but I guess we'll find out because right now it's super challenging, but it's fun and it, it teaches you a lot. So like, subscribe, um, and uh, hit that follow button. And uh, I appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Peace.